This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, here we go. We're continuing Mishnah Baruch Adaf Hashirah. We're learning now Simen Lamed Gimel. We're up to the second part of the Mechaber and Sif Aleph. Ve'eluhim Chadashim. What is the definition of new tefillin? Kozman Shem Hayu Moishchem Oisam Berutzuos. That is, so long if you would pull the Ritzuos. Habayis Mespashet V'Niftach. The bias would spread out and open. Nikra Chadash. It's called new. In Einoi Niftach, if it doesn't open, Nikra Yashen. Yashen. It's called old. The Neskalkalu. Shnayim. Zeh Shaloi Kineged Zeh. If it gets ruined, two of them, one not opposite the other, Rishon and Shlishik Shem, number one and three are kosher, Afilu Heim Yishanim, even if it's old, Vim Neskalkalu, meaning like this, Vim Neskalkalu Shnayim, Zeh Shloi Kineged Zeh. Okay, this is another, this is another point. Let's first see the Mishnah Burroughs on this. Habayis Mispash, in other words, Nutzpon is, if you pull them, um, the Ritzuos are Mespashet. That's Chadash. Says Meshavruah, Zehu, La'oysen sh'oysen ha'ma'avarta me ha'ar sh'asu men ha'batim. That is for those who make the ma'avarta from the hide that you make the batim. Ha'avu l'didon sh'ma'avarta ar'bifnei atzvei ain sh'ayich lo'emarkin. Then this is not relevant. Meaning like this. Let's see if we could get up the picture. Okay, here. So, Chadoshim are, if you're going to pull the Ritzuos Habayis, here, right? If you pull the Ritzuos, it's going to open up. Habayis Mespaj, that's called Nu. If Eino Niftach, it's called Yashan. Again, this is only Noigea for those who make the Mavarta from the same R that you make the bias, but we make it like this. We make it two different uh, pieces. We make the mavarta like a whole different uh, chilek, a whole different segment than we make the bias. So if it's one R, by pulling on these straps, it's going to cause the whole thing to open up like an accordion. But it's not nagea for us because we don't make it from one R. Now, if two of them get ruined, Okay, so now let's look at this picture. Mm. Two of them got ruined. Here and here. That's Aleph and Bez. Miskalkalu Shnayim. Zeh Shaloi Kineged Zeh. They're not mamish opposite each other. So in this case, Bayis Rishon and Bayis Shlishik Sherem Afilu Heim Yishanim. Then the first Bayis and third Bayis are kosher even if they're old. Then Miskalkalu Gimel Batim B'chol Enyim Psulim. If three of them got ruined, then they're always pasal. Says the Mishnah Bura, Risha Nishlishi, Ratzel Weimar, Debazah Mikri Zeshala Kinegazah. This is called one not opposite the other. Bafilu Nasa Karab Habayis Hashlishi, even if the fear happened in the third bias, the Shnei Dof Dof Naisav Kasher, even if it happened. The tear happened in the third bias on the two of kasher. Why? Because you have a whole bias being mafsik between them. Meaning like this. If bias... If ba- okay, one more time. When the Mechabra says... Um, in the Skalkalu Shnayim, two got ruined. 
Zeshaloi connected Zeh. Namely, Rishon or Shlishi. The first one got ruined and the third one got ruined. That's kosher. Why? Because you have two whole, uh, you have two shleimim being mafsik between them. Back to the Mishabros of Katan Tesla. So, the Bazem Mikri Zeshaloi connected Zeh. The Philum Nasa Kara Babai Sashlishi Bashev Dafnoisa. Even if here, look, both walls got ruined. Kosher, Kivan Shay's Bayes Shalom Masik Benayam. Avalom Nasa Kara Babai is Bayes. The Gimel, but if there is a tear in two and three, like in this diagram, after Kera Echad Bebayis Echad Mimino, even though one tear is in one bias on the right side, like over here on the right side, and the there's a second tear on the second by in the second bias on the left side, so here. The tear is on the right side in number bias two. And bias three, the tear is on the left side. That's called Okay, this is very simple. Basically, if you have a tear, but in between the two bottom that have a tear, you have two whole bottom, then you're okay. Even though this tear is on the left side and this tear is on the right side. But bias two is completely intact and it's in between, it's fine. Even if bias three, you have a tear both on the right and the left side, since bias two is completely intact, it's fine. But if you have a tear in three bottom, a feel bacho bias rak doy fenachad, let's say you have a tear in three in one, two, and three, even though it's only on one wall, it's possible bacho inyan. It's coming to say even new ones. We just said before, new ones that are torn are okay. So, we said that even if you have two batim that are torn, one next to the other by new batim, we come up in the Gimel puzzle. If it's three batim, it's going to be possible. So even though in Sifalaf, the Mechaber said that if you have two batim, one next to each other by new ones, it's going to be kosher. But by three, if three are torn, it will be possible. Fifth base. Im nifsiku tefirois hatfilin. If let's say the stitching of tefillin is torn. Okay, next next picture. Next series of pictures. Here. See, over here you have the stitching of tefillin. They're torn. Leha Rambam. Im hayu zu zu. According to the Rambam. If the two stitchings, one were next to each other. Then it's possible. So let's see what this means. Other poskim argue on the Rambam. They are mekel under all circumstances if it's two stitchings. And if it's three, they're machmer. Then it's not even going to help if you fix it. It's it's disparaging if the tikkun is recognizable in three places. Whether it's new, or whether it's old. You have to go back and sew it again. Meaning like this. If you have the stitching of tefillin torn, if the two stitchings, so tefiris is mashma, um, more than one. If the two stitchings, one are next to each other, or three stitching, zu shaloi kineged zu, it is possible. So we have to, we have to figure out what does it mean, shtei ha tefiris zu bitzad zu. So in the picture, they're saying like this. Zu bitzad zu, as you see, aleph, it's torn on the top, and then bez is torn on the bottom. That's zu b'tzad zu, okay? One opposite the other. So that's going to be passed according to the Rambam. Here, you have three stitchings that are not zu b'tzad zu. So they are puzzled. 
That's Gimel Dalit Hey. Now, let's just see a little bit further. That's by Old Tefillin. Again, this is all uh, based on the Rambam Shita, the first Shita in Sif Aleph. That if Niskalkal or Shal Shnei Batim Ibate Harosh, that if it's Chadashim it's Ksherim, and and if it's Yishanim it's Pasal. So here also we're saying by Medvar Mamur Bishanim Av Chadashim Kozman Shaar Moshe Avatim Kayim Ksherim. But if it's new, so long as the hide of the Moshe Avatim is extant, it's Kasher. So that's an the or Moshe Avatim means the Actual bias. We'll see one more Mishnah. Bura zu shaloi keneged zu. That means afilu kolecha b'tzad acher. Even if it's each one is on a different side, meaning one on top and two on the bottom, and they're not opposite each other. If it's three total, then it will be an issue. Okay, Rabbi Sai, thank you for joining today. I wish you all a uh, wonderful rest of the Yom Tif. And uh, we'll pick it up Monday, um, regular schedule, 9 o'clock. Um, we're continuing in Simonam and Gimel Sif Base. Thank you very much. A good Yom Tif. Hold up, everyone. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.